Hey, my name is Jakub Piesik and today I want to show you something related to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager and Microsoft Azure. I will show you what is the universal print. I want to show you how to configure it, what licenses are needed to use that solution and on the end I will show you how to configure that solution for the end users using the Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So, let's start. <music> Universal Print is the cloud solution based on the Microsoft services, which is allowing users to connect to printers which will be deployed via Microsoft Endpoint Manager, for example, without directly connecting via the printing service servers. Uh, this service is require additional licenses which will need to be by and assigned to all users which will be uh, use that printers and also to the administrators which will be deploying via the universal print service these printers and here we have the architecture for that solution uh, it's using the universal print connector which is installed on some machine where that printer is uh, installed for example on my machine i have installed uh, the home printer via the wi-fi uh, connection and on that same machine i installed the universal print connection i will show you later what i do that with that and after that it's connecting to the universal print service and this printer is visible to share via the universal print on the portal azure.com service and the end you need to share that printer and assign to the specific users or groups of users and after that they will be able to map this printer manually or you can deploy this printer via the Microsoft Endpoint Manager. If you want to know more what is the universal print, go to the Microsoft Docs and open the universal print section and there is information what is the universal print. And now I want to tell you something about licensing for the universal print solution. Basically there is a universal print standalone license which need to be assigned to the all users which will be using the universal print and the all administrators which will be managing those in printers on the Microsoft Azure. But if you have the Microsoft 365 Business Premium License or Windows 10 Enterprise, A3, A5, A3 and A5 or Microsoft 365 Enterprise, A3, E5, E5, E3, E5, A3 and A5, A5 uh, this license will be also assigned because I have the developer tenant I needed to assign the specific license to my universal printer administrator because I didn't read the documentation earlier and there is information all users including administrators must be assigned one of the above license to use or configure universal print and that is very important because if you are using for example some global administrator account or uh, printer administrator account they need to have also the specific license universal print or on like on my case it will be the windows 10 enterprise license and what is also important one license for the universal print include only five print jobs so if you start printing one license it is allowing only to print five tasks for example, if you print one document which contains 20 pages, it will be counted as one print job. And if you have one license, there will be four jobs remaining on your current subscription. But if you have 100, 1000 license, there will be available 5000 of, 5, of jobs per month available to end user, not to the specific user. All users which have the licenses, they will be able to printing from that 5,000 of jobs. But there is also a possibility to buy additional print volume and it can be done via the Microsoft 365 admin portal. If you want to buy 500 more jobs, you need to pay $25 per month. If you want to buy 10,000 jobs, you need to pay $300 per month. If you go to the Pascal services on the Microsoft 365 admin portal, if you type the universal print, there is information that you can buy the universal print license or 
by the add-ons. And what is interesting, there is a two universal print additional capacity 10,000 with two different prices. I asked the Microsoft Azure support for that, but still didn't receive the answer. If I didn't receive the answer, I will uh, add the additional information in the description of that movie. But there is a possibility to buy only uh, 500 jobs more. So if you have that kind of information behind us, we can move to the more interesting thing, things. And I will show you how to implement that solution using the Microsoft Azure and Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So let's start the demo. The first thing what we need to go today is the universal print on the Microsoft Azure and you see information don't have a universal print solution subscription. And I needed to add to my primary uh, global administrator account, additional license for the Windows uh, uh, free, sorry, for the Windows 10 Enterprise license. And I will add this right now. And what is important information, even if you add that kind of license to the account which is used to configure the universal print, it can take up to 24 hours to propagate that kind of license. So you need to wait. First thing what you need to do is register your connector, that means install your connector. You need to click the, the universal print connector installer and download it. After that you need to install it using account with the administrator privilege list. On the beginning I decide, I decide to create an additional account to not use my global administrator account to log on to the connector and f adding the first printers. And after that, I assigned that the additional license to this account, which is required like the license is set, Windows 10 Enterprise. And on the next step, I added the additional role. It is a printer administrator role. I will be using later that account to configure or modify the settings for the existing printers in my environment. And that is the reason why I will be not using the global administrator account. After that, we need to back to the universal print connector and log on using a rare created account. When the login will be successfully, you need to provide a connector name. It's the name for the connector, which will be visible on the portal azure.com. I will use the HP, de HP device and click the re register button. Now the connector is registering on the Azure services. And after some time, it should be visible on the portal.azure.com and we will check that. And if you go to the portalazure.com, select the universal print and the connectors, there is a new connector name HP device, which I properly registered a couple minutes ago. And this is the host name, the ID of the connector, and now we can start the con basic configuration for our, our printers. The registered printers tab is empty right now, and we have the available printers which is installed on that device. And if we mark this device which we want to install, select the register button, the printer will be now registering in the universal print service in the Microsoft Azure. After some time, the printer will be registered and it will be visible on the left side as registered printers. Now we can go back to the portalazure.com to check if that printer was installed properly. And this printer is visible here, but the share status is not shared. That means we need to share that device and assign to the proper group of users. Here we have a details of that, of that printer the printer share name and id it will be not visible because it is not shared yet on the printer connection we can see that this device is connected to the hp device and if we want to know share that printer we need to click the add button select the printer and provide the share name it will be the name of the printer which will be visible for the end users i will use the mine printer without the slash or backslashes because as you see I do that mistake I'm selecting the printer and what is interesting right now on that list you can select only the users not the groups so if you are have the use group of users which you want to allow to use that printer you are not ever not able to do that 
you need to select the allow access to the everyone or not to everyone just don't select the user and share the printer when the printer is shared you can go to the properties tab and ch see what is the name of that printer or, or change it but what is interesting if you go to the access controller you can disable the allow access to everyone in my organization if you click the add button right now the groups will be visible and you don't need to select the users one by one you can just select the groups and you see those groups are visible here so i will use my group for the standard users and they will be able to use that printer now when the printer is shared i will install it manually on the one of the my machine i will show you how to do that you need to go to the settings devices printers and scanners and select the add printer or scanner but after some time the device wasn't visible here so i decided to do something some troubleshooting with that and first thing what i do was sync the settings on the microsoft for my microsoft account And when the sync was completed, I decided to go back to the settings and uh, devices, printers, printers and scanner. And if I click on the add printer, and there was a two options to select the USB or network printer or work or school network and scanner. So that was definitely not the USB or network printer. And I needed to select the work or school printer and scanner. So let's check that. After changing to the work or school printer and scanner, uh, the my printer was visible. So if I click on the add device, the drivers will be now installed in the background and the printer will be available to use. It's very easy, very quick. And there is also a possibility to search for the keywords like the printer name, location, etc, etc. Now we can try to print something. I'm just running the not note, standard notepad and select the file print and the printer, it will be visible to print. And you see the main printer. If I click the print, now we can go back to the Microsoft Azure portal and see what is the status of the printer. If we click on the jobs, we will see, we'll have the list of the jobs which was sent to that printer. We can also open the printer properties tab and provide necessary details or set the printer defaults uh, settings for that printer. And when the location and printer settings was filled properly, I manually removed that printer from the uh, device to create a policy in, in Microsoft Endpoint Manager to automatically deploy that kind of printer to the end user device. So let's do that. You need to go to the Windows Devices Windows Configuration Profile and I will select the Create Profile button. Selecting the Windows 10 and later, the profile type it will be Settings Catalog. I'm creating the Create button, providing a proper name. The description will be empty. On the Configuration Settings, I'm clicking the Add Settings button. Scrolling bit bottom to the Printer Provisioning. I'm selecting which settings will be visible to configure. closing that window and now we need to fill that kind of fields and so we are going to the portalazure.com universal print we are selecting printing what we want to configure and you see there is a one printer on my environment so i'm clicking it printer id i'm copying it it will be cloud device id shared id it will be that thing so i'm copying it Printer shared name, it will be main printer on my case. The action install only, clicking next, 
I'm not using the scope tags. Next thing, I'm assigning the policy to the user group. Only standard users. Clicking the next. Preview and create. I'm checking everything, which is empty. Another bug on the Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Clicking create. Policy was created properly. When the policy is created properly, we will go back to the machine and sync the settings to get the latest policies from the Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So click the sync button and we will see that information that the pop-up is appear uh, from the UPP installer, uh, printer installer.exe. That means the printer is installed in the background and after some time we can go back to the settings. devices, printers and scanners, and the printer is not appear here, but if we wait a while, the printer will appear automatically, like on this moment, and the main printer was installed automatically without an off intervention for the end user. We will check also how the installation is going on the Windows 365 machine. So if we connect to the machine via web browser and log into that machine, we will see what is visible on the devices and printers. So if you open the, the settings, go to the Bluetooth and devices, go to the devices, prin sorry, printers and scanners, the main printer is automatically connected to the user devices, user device. So no uh, manually action needed from the end user perspective. And for today movie it will be everything because I show you how to create a policy via the Microsoft Endpoint Manager to automatically deploy that kind of printer. I show you what is the universal print, how to configure it in the Microsoft Azure and how to manually install the cloud printer from the end user perspective. So thank you. Speak you. Bye.